All right. So it's I'm live now. Dumbass. What did you just call me? Nothing. <laughs> Watch your profanity. <laughs> Watch your profanity. Oh, oh wow. Okay. So <laughs> him. Oh, hello. <laughs> hey guys. Uh this is a live stream, I know, and um I really don't know what to say. I'm not good at saying things. But anyway, I just got this game called Firewatch, and I've been hearing a lot of good things about it, and one of my favorite YouTubers did a Let's Play on it. I didn't watch all of it, but I watched about three or five or so minutes of the first episode, and oh my gosh, I'm already in love with this game. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, I gotta get it. So I got it, and now I'm gonna play it. So let's just start a new game here. Oh dear. Empty game. Reminds me of Gravity Falls. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, people are yelling. I'm sorry about that too. Um, in my last live stream, I explained that I have a very big family, and I can't get all of them to shut up at once. <laughs> that sounds so rude, but it's so true. Oh, and by the way, I have Maris on a Skype call too. Say hi. hi. I said hi. Oh, okay. I didn't hear you. Campo Santo presents Incorporation with Panic Inc. Panic at the Disco. <laughs> Boulder, Colorado, 1975. You see Julia. Oh my gosh, why is she yelling? <sighs> I, I am so very, very sorry. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna like pause this for a second and see if I can't, um, or like mute my mic for a second, see if I can't uh, solve the problem. <laughs> Oh no, I understand. I understand. Okay. 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 I'm. I'm back. I'm all back. All you had to say. All you had to say. Was that. <laughs> all I had to say was never mind, and you understood. Yeah. All right. So, you see Julia, and I'm. <clears throat> sorry. I'm going to ask all of the viewers to try to ignore the background noise. I'm again. I'm really sorry, but okay. You see Julia. She's about your age late 20s, laughing, well-dressed professors, and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, 
Henry, are out drinking with your pals. Oh, so I'm a dude. You approach her. You are drunk. <laughs> okay, so I have two options here. So, what's your, you know, major? Or you, you're pretty. Okay. No, slur the word major and it smells like cores. Wait, it smells like cores? Okay, you give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. She says? She says. And I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours? She asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Was that a burn, you ask? She says, definitely. Oh. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks if you wanted to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Oh, geez, that went by fast. <laughs> Get out of here, display driver. No one likes you. All right. It's loading. I don't, I don't think I don't know what happens next. I haven't gotten this far. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, a oh, click to use objects. Dang, I am getting a lot of lag. Hold up. I wonder. Can I just like <sighs> fix my settings here? Oh, graphics. Okay. <laughs> graphics. Shadow quality, let's lower that a little bit. Wow, I phase locked Wilhelm once and he exploded. People probably don't know what you're talking about, but that's amazing. Oh, I think it stopped responding. Oh no. Oh, I wanted to. Okay, so it's responding now. <laughs> well, I got a good look at Wilhelm's face. This is terrifying. I don't want everything to be on high. Why is it on high? It's like they expect that I have, like, you know, just the, the, the beefiest computer. All right. Resume. Okay, so now I'm doing a little bit better performance-wise. Am I... It's over here. No, I don't think I'm supposed to go over here. I walk slow. Oh. I've got a belly. I've got a beer belly. Do I? Okay, door. Dang, the quality. Oh my gosh. And that wedding ring, though. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers on the deck. You drink beer just about everywhere. Okay, alcoholics. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. <laughs> Too bad, Julia. Screw you. Anybody got time for that? Okay. <clears throat> There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it, <laughs> bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's bad ass. Watch your profanity. <laughs> um, you pick up the beagle and she names it him Bucket. Or you adopt the shepherd and name him Mayhem. <laughs> That's B A. I do the shepherd because I have a history with beagles and shepherds are badass. They are badass. <laughs> if it dies, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Mayhem is an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet, all rolled into one. Nineteen seventy-nine. You walk. You talk on the deck. It's summer, nine thirty p.m., and the heat is and the heat still radiates radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Kids. 
they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots, that'd be pretty, pr pretty, that would be pretty good. Or one day, why rush? I'm gonna say pretty good. I'm, I'm not a fan of children, but you know, if she wants children, then in that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Okay, still crappy, choppy. I'm going to see if I can fix that. Okay, I'm... Just watch this whole entire gameplay, just me messing with my graphics. Off? No, I don't want it off. Oh, they're all on low? Are you kidding me? Oh, God. Can we bring the world detail down to low? Yeah. Graphics. Oh, low. Okay. Using that. That's better. That is my... Oh. Whoa. This is actually really pretty. Thoroughfare trailhead. Warning. Thoroughfare trail is recommended... Is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. <laughs> that reminds me of Al Alonzo Leron. With the... I like it when she gives me hikes on my neck. I totally suggest a long way around to anybody who's watching. He's hilarious. 1980. It's Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. Oh. She doesn't call. You worried and getting angrier by the minute. Oh, dude. You shouldn't get angry. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. What the hell? Okay, so she tells you, she doesn't tell you where she's going, and she goes to get drunk. Oh. Damn, Julia, I thought you were better. She's got some problems. Watch my profanity. Anyway, you fight when she gets in between the sheets. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> you get mad, or you ignore her. Both of these are horrible options. Why can't you guys just, like, talk it out? Yeah, talk it out. You never do that to a girl. She will shank you. She will shank you with a butter knife. Or if, or if it's me, I'll shank you with a spoon. But anyway, I think, I think I'm just gonna ignore her because I think that getting mad will just like kind of make it worse. Yeah, that would just get it, or make it worse if you just got mad at her. Okay, so I'm just gonna- I feel like either way, this is gonna end with you single. <laughs> you don't touch each other all night. Oh. <laughs> the next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask about her evening. She says it was great. You go onto a tiny pill of resentment. You make some good coffee, or you make some coffee and go to work. Some good coffee. Some good coffee, though. Starbucks. Julia likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Okay, so I can either pose like, or pose and flex like He-Man, or or frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> Um, I would, if it were me, I would frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> That's what I was going to do! <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> I didn't exactly hear what you said, so I had to wait for the live stream. Oh, so you watch on the live stream? Why you do that? Because I can't. <sighs> Damn rocks, though. That, that, those graphic details, though. Majestic music is all I hear. Whoa. This reminds me a lot of my childhood. Like, you know, when I lived on the mountain. Because it looked a lot like this. I mean, it, ten times better graphics, but you know, the colors, the palette, was on point. Oh, no, my phone's gonna die. No. No. <laughs> I need a new phone. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. Two forks. Firework out. 
Two Forks, Lookout Tower, eight more miles still. <laughs> that was sexy. <laughs> sexy AF. Space bar to climb Watch over obstacles. Oh, I got some hairy legs. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. Oh dear. The, the, the music changed. Okay. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. I almost said forks. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Oh dear. Okay. Um, mayhem runs away. My, my, my F word. D dog. Julia yells. She gets frustrated and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. So I can either scare him away or beat his goddamn face in. Beat his face in. Okay. I came back right as you just said, beat his face in. <laughs> okay, your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You, you don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Sounds nice. 1984. Plants have kids gets way laid by work. Mm -hmm. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Ooh, Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. Oh. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. So, um, I can convince her to not take the job or agree that she commutes back and forth. Okay, those are both two terrible options, again. No, that's not what you do. You want her to follow her dreams. You would move no matter what you think, you idiot. If it were me, I would, t I would agree if she commutes back and forth, because at least... <laughs> at least she'd go. Yeah, at least she'd have her dream job. I think it's not a very good option, but it's the best. Yeah. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says it'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass up, pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. That sounds terrible. I mean... I don't think I'd want to be away from the person I love for that long. I would just move to Connecticut. 1985. Julia sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing the books that were important for her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh. She was found crying in the stairwell. Okay, you say that you guys should talk to someone about it, or you make macaroni and drink wine and forget about it. Okay, that's a horrible, horrible option. I'm just going to talk about it. Yeah, you should talk about it. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. What? You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Why, why, why would you do that? Whatever. Oh, this is a nice little camp out. Can I? No, I cannot move. I can't look down either. What's going on? Am I like stuck under a lock? No. Mmm, them, them graph, those shadow graphics though. Okay, pick up the journal. That wedding ring though. I got hairy arms. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, well, like he looks fabulous as a Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> okay, Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down tonight. Oh my gosh, if he dies. You and Julia walk him to a bar to see your friends, and it, and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. 
Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. That is really sad. Some days you get the you some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and an, and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. Oh. oh. After 5 minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They're crushed and begin to make trips to to and from their home in Australia to visit her. Also, she's Australian. Why did I say that with a Russian accent? <laughs> okay. For a little while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. Oh. Uh, Daniel's a neutral name. I'm trying to figure out if it's a girl or a boy. Oh, who cares? It doesn't matter, probably. He suggests... Okay, so it's a he. He suggests that Julia should live somewhere else. Somewhere with 24-hour care. A home. It sits with you for a couple months. Uh, I, I would give her to somebody. So would I. Like She'd get better. Yeah, she would have people there who actually knew what they were doing. Like, I mean, you wouldn't have her there with you, but you could always go and visit her every day. That's like saying if I needed to go to the hospital, would you let me go or would you be selfish and, like, let me suffer? No, I would let you go. If it would benefit your health, then I totally would let you go. Like, if you would be happier there and they actually knew what they were doing, then probably be the wiser idea. I'm going to put her into a full-time care facility. Someone's swearing in the comments. People are swearing in the comments? Watch your profanity. <laughs> Watch your profanity. Okay. Dang. It is really pretty, even though I have all the graphics on low. Dang, you live stream. Making me lag. I'll probably replay it over um, on my own time just to see the full thing, you know? Yeah. Like, it still is kind of choppy, but it isn't. The worst. It's really pretty though. I wish I could buy. Bunny isn't reading the comments, but I am. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not reading the comments. Mariz, um, I'm having my game up on full screen, so I can't actually read the comments. Oh, uh, do I jump? No, I don't jump down. Mm, damn sexy graphics though. Okay. Um. Oh dear. Hello, Mister Dear. Top of the morning. <laughs> Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. No, no, come back. Oh, that sexy jump. Keeper lag is making his jumps look all retarded. Okay. Her family agrees with your decision. Whew. You find a place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day. Then every other day. I am noticing you guys. So he stops seeing her every day. That's sad. You go out to the bar with your old friends. Okay, that's a horrible idea. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every... <laughs> you get that feeling. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I wouldn't say that to someone. That's freaking rude. You slowly decide not to see your as much, see your old friends that much. Yeah, I wouldn't either. They aren't friends if they threaten to cut my balls off. But that's what I do. Except I threaten to cut your tits off. I was just about to say I don't have balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her. Oh dear. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter, typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. Oh, dear. I'm not going to cheat on Julia, am I? I wouldn't. 
I wouldn't either. Months go by. Mayhem dies. Why? <laughs> Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Oh, that's even worse. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. Honey, and s huh? Someone wants you to say hashtag macaroni and cheese all day. Hashtag macaroni and cheese all day. All right. Um. <laughs> And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. But what about your baby? Big child, Julia. My back really hurts. I take a drink of my soda. <laughs> and I got the soda. Oh, it, it doesn't say soda, it says sewed up, but whatever. Dang, you was taking a long time to load. Can you please hurry? Okay, there we go. Oh, it's night. Oh, I got that wedding ring on, though. That's pretty good. Um, I was freaking out because you said macaroni thing. I just had macaroni, too. Yeah, you had it for dinner. <laughs> I had a cookie for dinner. That's unhealthy. It was a Samoa. Where'd you get those? <laughs> I, I don't know. My my um, mom left it because she went on a date with Jason. Oh. I don't know why, but it, it kind of makes me mad. I'll talk to you about it later. Dang. Like, I know my graphics are low, but this sky is beautiful. Okay, wait, wait we've got questions. I didn't see them. Really. Um, you guys play Minecraft? Yes, we play Minecraft. Oh, um, yes. Chaos Slender asks, how long, did, on average, does it take to make a speed game? Um, it used to take me about 45 minutes. But now I'm taking more time on my line art and shading, and it takes me about an hour for just something like simple, but in like about an hour, 45 minutes for something complicated. Mm, I have a sexy build up here. Let's see, I've got boarded up window, map table. Can I take down, is there a light switch? Yes, there is. Ooh. Is that Maris talking to you on Skype? No, I'm a foot Hello to Forks Tower. Hello. Sexy voice coming from my radio. <laughs> mm, that sexy animation. Reply. Hold left shift to reply. Would you guys be willing to play Minecraft with me and my friends? Maybe someday. Probably. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to close it. Wait, I don't want to close it. Okay. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Delilah, yeah, you have a sexy voice. guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Oh, excuse, excuse me? me? <laughs> <laughs> take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? To Madre. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then can I sleep forever? I'm depressed you are. Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. You killed three ex-husbands? Somebody, oh, the potato de kawaii. Sorry if I said your name wrong. It is Maris. Okay, um, you've killed three ex-husbands, you're rebelling against your mom, nobody back home can stand you. I'm going to say killed, you killed three ex-husbands, because that, that's BA. Okay. Uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow, and you're just out here until the heat dies down, and then you'll kill again. <laughs> Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Shut you! Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. 
Good. But nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. <laughs> oh, that it. Close. Oh, I can pick up a pine cone. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. What's this game called? Firewatch. Firewatch. Someone asked. Day one. What's your goal for subscribers? Honestly, I didn't think I'd get past 200. I didn't think my channel would get one. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand why you have 100 subscribers. You, you no, literally... 200. 200? <laughs> you have 200? <laughs> but you... <laughs> yeah, I have 200. You don't upload anything, though. I've got 237. Logic. I wonder why they're subscribed to you. Maybe it's just for like the sake of being subscribed to someone. It's for the sake of being. No, it's probably because I'm your girlfriend, and they're like, must do it. Ooh, I'm using the typewriter that Susan got me. Good morning, Henry. Well, <laughs> good afternoon. You probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Nah, bitch, nah. Watch my profanity. Someone wants to sniff my hair. No, it probably doesn't smell the greatest. I haven't showered since. I can Thursday. open up my desk drawer. No, I can't open it right now. I, I have to pick up the radio. It won't let me do anything else. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Oh, I teleported out of my chair. Yeah. Jesus, is this what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? How many OCs do you have? Yeah, I would have to count okay. them. Yeah, I see it. I know I don't have over five. This is the Osborne Firefinder. Invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne. You use this to spot, you guessed it, five. What the fuck? Watch your profanity. Watch your profanity. Um, <laughs> you, uh, you use this to. Oh, fuck me! Watch your profanity! Watch <laughs> window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Oh, that's a firework. Are those fucking fireworks? Yes, I know how to use my compass, lady. Okay. Report fireworks, Whoa. okay. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. It, watch your job. Your job is whatever I say it is. The closest ranger is oh. like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Well, you know, for the first day, I actually got a lot of things unpacked. I think I'm going to explore before I hit the road. What's this? Wait, is there fan fiction of us out there? Hold on, wait, chaos. I need to Do know this. Is there fan fiction? That? There's fan fiction. I don't know. <laughs> Say what? What's this? Photo with Julia. Oh, Julia. How long, it, how long did it take you to learn how to draw smoothly? I'm sorry, it's not in the job description. Get out of here, Delilah. Uh, it. I didn't draw smoothly. Well, just go down there, okay? Make sure they stop like, with this shit. Lines. I think it's just this. It's thing. it's just my tablet. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get. I use a Wacom bamboo capture, capture tablet. There should be one in the supply box on the way. It won't let me drop the, the code photo. Is one two three four. It's actually that for all of them. I'm gonna say smart. Smart. Shut up. <laughs> Sounds like me. Just smart. Shut up. Why won't it let me put it down? Let me freaking put the photo down. Thank you. Oh geez, I just threw it. Throw it out the window. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to put it where it back where it was. <laughs> oh, I have a belly. Can I just? Yeah, I keep throwing it on the floor. You know what? I'm I'm done. When did you decide to make your YouTube channel, and why did you make it? Um, get your fireworks out of here. I'll look up when. Um, I made it in September, around that area, or it was August. It uh, was August, yeah, August 21st, hit 21. 21? <laughs> Ooh, Clorox, can I drink this? 
The Clorox spelt with a K. K for kill myself. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go look at these people who are lighting up the fireworks. How dare they? Can I pick what's up my wrong with fanfic, or what's your opinion on it? I love fanfiction. Fanfictions are bay. Okay, like seriously, um, um, ninety nine percent of my time is spent reading fanfictions. Oh, I sexually grabbed that. Oh yeah. Uh, how long have you known each other? What? Is how long? Seven years. Yeah, seven, maybe seven and a half. Yeah, because um, the day we first met is coming up quickly, August. What's your favorite picture you've done on YouTube so far? I uh, yeah yeah. I would have to say the collab that I did with of Princess Cadence. Oh. Wait, I just saw something. Um. Oh my gosh, the chat is going nuts. Oh. What the heck was that? My map was like all rainbow colored. Oh, zoom in. Will you praise the raisin god, aka me? I don't like raisins. She doesn't. I really don't. She really doesn't. Can I run? Uh, I shall praise the raisin god for you. Raisin god of the bay, hashtag raisin god. I'm trying to find all the questions, help. All right, so where am I supposed to be going exactly? Name your favorite fan fiction. I don't even know. <laughs> I would say mine, but I don't want people looking it up. <laughs> it's called Caramel of Apples. <laughs> what? <laughs> Pentatonix. They did a video on it, and they acted it out, and it was so bad. It was so cringeworthy. Was it about them? Yes, it was about Scott and Mitch. <sighs> Caramel apples. <laughs> oh, is it on Wattpad? Yeah. How long have we been dating? <laughs> Ow. Two years. Took what me. is your favorite TV show right now? One. What's your favorite TV show? Bones. Is yours still Once Upon a Time, or are you getting into something else? I think it's it's either Once Upon a Time or Baby Daddy. <laughs> She's like, can you be my baby daddy? I'm like, yeah. What do you hope for your relationship, or like, what are your plans for, for the future? I hope that Honey dies. <laughs> oh! I love you too. I love you. <laughs> oh, that's my future. Okay, this is gonna kill me. Okay, I'm very slow. Why oh can't no! I, I walked into a tree. Yes, I died. Oh no! That's a grenade. You threw a grenade. Is there any other animations you're working on? I uh, know. No. No. Oh wait, yeah, I'm working on a Snartist thing. Um, it's not really an animation; more of it is a storyboard. I only have like the first fourteen frame things. Oh, am I supposed to report this? We do watch anime. So, are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the show, Shoney. It seemed us a lot of back and forth from the trail hit. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. You're not my dad. <laughs> You're not my dad! Oh. Okay, so... What do you want to do in the future with your girlfriend? Would you think it would get worse or greater? What I would like to do is I want to take... Her to Disneyland. Oh and dear, don't, I, don't, sh shut up, shut up right now, shut up right now, shut up right now. Shut up right now. We're gonna buy a house together, and we're gonna get like 80 dogs, and like one cat, because I'm not a cat person. Well, I kind of am, but. I want a kitten. There's actually a, a breed of cat that like, they look like kittens forever. Oh, I can eat the granola bar. Wait, 
are your plans to do with me? I'm going to tie you down to a bed, then light the house on fire and run. <laughs> <laughs> and Maris, if someone cloned you, what would be your reaction? I would automatically teach it to say hands of Jack's lines. Yep. I would murder it. You like cats or dogs? I'm a dog person. Like, really? A dog person? I don't mind cats, but they're. I don't. I don't really think that I'm. Yeah, one of those, you know, fall off the grid and need ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. What's your profile? Kind of with the job tracks. But anyway, um, I don't really think I'm a dog or cat person. I don't really like dogs, but I don't really like cats. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, Ron. When did you start watching anime, and what was the first anime you ever watched? Naruto. Naruto. Elementary. Yeah, elementary. He was back in elementary. And she introduced me to Naruto, and I fell in love. And, yeah. And I was, like, soul leader. Yeah, okay, wait, okay, so, Ron. Hey, man, got... Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking hiking into the park, but let's get effed when I'm back. Watch out profanity. profanity. Watch out profanity. If you could be any dog, what breed would you be? German Shepherd. Uh, husky. <laughs> If both of you guys would have other sides of yourselves, then how would their actions and then how would their actions and personality? I don't know what um, you're asking. I'm not really sure what you're asking. <laughs> Ask again. Please. Where am I supposed to go exactly? What are your guys' favorite OCs? Maris is like literally my only OC. Oh, well, other than, I guess. Okay. Han Bon. <laughs> okay, so she recolored one of um, Cloudy Night. She just like changed the colors and she named it her own and named it Han Bon. And um, she posted it on Facebook and someone actually reported her for it. They got banned. Yeah. Oh, wait, there's a bunch of questions coming. Oh, I can't dog. Uh, do you guys want to have kids or adopt any? I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of children. I am. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I don't think I would. I don't think I wouldn't mind having one child. One. Uno. I want to be a boy. I wanted to either name it Alfie or name it Easton. Mm, little boys. Oh God! All these questions. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Uh, who's your favorite main? Uh, out of the ponies, uh, Pinkie Pie. Uh, oh, what's your face? Flutterfly. Shutterfly. <laughs> She's my favorite, but I don't know her name. Okay. Are you guys excited for season six of My Little Pony? Honestly, I've been bad. I haven't even watched. Like, I think I left off at season three. Uh, uh I'm not too excited for it. Print the Princess McFlurry or whatever. <laughs> I I don't know. I think that her she's ridiculous. Oh, there's a fireworks because, um, Alicorn is uh if you look at traits right then alicorn then an alicorn trait would probably be recessive and i think that a tap attach rope to hook wouldn't it be dominant no because alicorns are rare and the only way to be able to be a natural born alicorn your parents would have to both be alicorns no like wouldn't the unicorn trait be dominant though the unicorn would be because both yeah. of her parents have it in common yes yeah. okay hurry up with your story we've got more questions and so, I don't think it would be a uni uh, alicorn. I think it'd be unicorn. Okay, so the <laughs> what, what the hell? What what the fuck? I, the my what's profanity. Your profanity? I'm sorry. I like fell. Wait. I saw. Wait, what? I fell. I died. How am I? How I? How do I get back up? My rope snapped. Oh my gosh. What is that? I saw something in the bushes. Oh, it's just a butterfly. It's just a butterfly. Shut your mouth! Oh, I should. Oh, sorry. The other hey. guy responded and said, "What would your what other side you? be like if you had another side?" I feel like I'm gonna go with like line. my other side would be opposite for me. It'd be like really quiet and shy. No, I think I'll make it. But because would talk to people when you first meet them and actually be able to call the pizza man? Yeah. 
once you get to know me, I'm loud. I'm annoying. You're I'm not black. annoying. You are loud, but you're not annoying. I'm annoying. What are you talking about? I'm talking about how you're not annoying. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I think I'm annoying. I kick someone's chair and then dove under a desk. I'm pretty sure I'm annoying. Well, that's because they were being annoying first. <laughs> okay, anyway. What would your other side be like? Wow, there's a, a big rock. Wait, what was the question? Near the lake. It's really what would your something. other side be like? Yeah. And my it's other side be would be very, very, very... Would like, give out personal information just to like the randomest people. And, you know, just like not the secretive kind of person that I am. I, I'm i not too sure about... Oh, I see fire. I'm not too sure about how they would act. Like if they'd be like shy around people or outgoing. Because it really depends on the person. Mm -hmm. Really. You know? But yeah. Oh, what are those? Yeah. Beer okay. cans. Who's your favorite... YouTubers in the speed paint area. My favorite is other than Honeybee because I hate her. Um, oh. It would it would have to be Kiwi Bird because she's really good. Uh, I <laughs> instigated. I, mean, I would have to be my favorite. Cans, they threw them all over hell. Um, who's your favorite main six? Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy. Uh, do yeah, you yeah. ever yeah. pet That's each other? Pet each other. Is that like a sexual thing? <laughs> Honey used to pet me with her foot when I was on my computer. Oh yeah, I remember that. Well, that's because like you weren't paying attention to me and I needed my attention. Well, she was sitting on the floor and I was sitting on the couch so I just started petting her head with my foot. I'm just gonna pick up these beer cans because who the hey I'm hanking in their right mind would just like leave these beer cans out here. A nerdy girl, I congratulate you. Thank you for staying up for four in the morning just to watch this. Number one fan right there. Do you all enjoy your fans? Of course. Of course. Every single one of them. Except for the ones that steal my art. Hashtag shout out to Yummy Soda. I owe you a soda? No, Yummy Soda, that's her name. Or his, I don't know. Oh, okay. How long do you think this playthrough is going to be for? That probably gonna finish it. You left half a of well, like no, uh, I'm probably gonna do a couple days and then I'll do another live stream. Like, watch your profanity. I'll do another live stream later. What's your favorite food? I have to think about this. Oh, fried pickles. Oh, never mind. Irish. Fried pickles. Fried pickles. Fried pickles. Single malt whiskey. Oh, I feel like he's gonna drink this because he's an alcoholic. Bitch, what's your don't need this in my life right now. Yep. Yep, you do not need it in your life. Good, what's Henry. You realize you have a problem. Oh. I don't want people over to your house to slit your throat unless you answer. Jeez. Um. Sushi. Okay. <laughs> okay. Veggie um, Rose Bay. I love the question. If there's anything you wanted to make free to, to the out. world, what would it be? Well, confiscate them. I. Like, do you mean... Art-wise, or...? Like, do you mean, like, something you could... That's... You have to buy? Or would it be, like... Oh, well, let's make rape free! Well, you know, like, free to the country! Or something people. like that. What? You don't like a cold muscle line on a hot day? No, no, I do. What were your but, original yeah, plans for this, this channel? Oh, these fucking... What was the question? Though, that's for sure. Uh, what's your profanity? Uh, what were your original plans for this channel? Speed paints. Yeah. Uh, did you ever roleplay? We did. We did. Um, we also play roleplayed with someone else. That was kind of weird because he was like hitting on you during the roleplay, and I'm like, stop hitting on your girl, slit your throat. <laughs> Who's your favorite YouTuber? Oh, Who's teaching of how you draw. Oh. Um. Okay. One second. Oh, someone's playing. I should explain this right here and right now that I don't think that I should ever do tutorials because when I was little, my stepdad told me, my old stepdad, it's not my stepdad anymore, whatever. Which one? <laughs> uh, my first stepdad um, that was my stepdad when we first met. Um, he told me that you can never teach someone how to draw. You can give them the basics and everything, but you can't teach them because everyone has their own style. 
in their own way of creating things. And that really like inspired me to become a better artist than I was then. And back then I would do, I would draw like potatoes with faces and everyone would thought I was like, oh my gosh, amazing, you know, whatever. But then I actually started to take drawing serious by then. I decided to like make myself better and all that crap. And I think that that's why I'm not really a big fan of stealing, stealing styles as I have it in quotes. It's not really stealing. Like, I'm not like, oh my gosh, if you steal style, then you're a horrible person, you know, right? That Like that. But, like, I realized that, like, oh, you're just trying to get better at your art, and that's okay. But just don't stick with that style. Like, try to improve it and make your own out of it, you know? Kind of, like, modify it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, I'm going to get back to playing the game. I see, turned into a lifelong lesson. I, I see a bra on the tree. Oh. Uh, this game wasn't free, was it? No, twenty dollars on Steam. Uh, twenty dollars there. You go. You answer the question. Maybe pyromaniac. Remain professional. I hear music. <laughs> oh, panties. Well, give me. Uh, there are. Uh, Who's stuttering? <laughs> what was your opinion when you first I don't saw want to me? Say that word again. You were a brat. Why? Because you're twelve. I love. What was your opinion on honey? I'm gonna sound really bad here, but I honestly don't remember. <laughs> I know, okay, so let me explain something a little bit about me. I hated my childhood. I hated it. And so, I don't know where I'm going with this. You kind of just like, kind of blocked just, it out? I kind of blocked out my childhood. And like, whenever I met people, I was kind of, mean to them but back then, then now you're well, kind back of then, but then we moved away and i got away from negativity and um um well i feel like i've gotten much more better with people mm -hmm. and me on the other hand i love my childhood like it everything that i do today is based on what i would do like my favorite game, the only reason I love it is because I used to watch my big brother play it. You know? And that just brings back nostalgia that I just love. There's a... Yes? If you hit, let's say, 8,000 subscribers, will you ever do a face reveal? Uh, 5,000? 8,000. <laughs> not a face reveal, not that soon. Uh... Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Yeah, naked ladies in the forest. Anyway, you were saying something, I believe? No, I think that was it. I just got Okay, well, point. Oh, I see them. Fireflies are covering their silhouettes. Why? Why must you do this? I, w I was hoping that I'd see two naked ladies. Why? Wait. <laughs> Someone said, or 10,000. Hey, hey, you fucking pissed! Oh, what's hey, your profanity? Hey, what's your name? Chelsea and Rick. What was your first thought when you started dating me? I... Oh my gosh, is her mom gonna kill me? Saw your first live stream. What? Uh, <laughs> Patata D Kawaii said, "Why watercolors? Just why and on rocks too." Um, John Green asks, uh, "What? What is your favorite game?" Borderlands Two. Look, I'm sorry to yeah. bother you. Can you just knock it off, please? Can I just walk out there and slap both of them? Okay, I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna slap both of them. 
Oh, it, it won't let me walk to them. I'm not the one who's naked on the rock. Oh, hey, this is actually a really good question for you because you talked about this with me. Will you ever make a channel where you play games together or alone or just stick to pizza? <laughs> Actually, no, I was actually thinking about adding more gameplay to Honeybee. It just, I don't know what people would think about it. What was the worst thing someone has ever said to you about being with a girl? Um, it's uh, it would probably be a very, it was a very sexual comment. Like, it, it made my face go red, you know, something like that. But I remember later on the conversation, I walked off, and the the person yelled, let your freak flag fly. Hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here. Um, yeah, that's your tower. What is your opinion oh, on the game so far? Way. And also, which one of you would sacrifice yourself for the other one? I would sacrifice. So I would sacrifice myself for her. And this game, I'm loving it so far. What do you guys think of Undertale? I've never seen it. Um, I think it's a pretty cool game, actually. I love the little quirks in it, but I don't really think I would ever play it myself because I already know what happens, and you know, it's kind of boring. And it's not like one of these games where you can decide what happens. It's one of those. Oh, it ha this happens anyway, unless you decide to do the genocide or pacifist run and I'm rambling but anyway I think you get the point uh actually I actually really like the game but this kid at my school knows that I like it and that's the only thing that he ever talks about and it is so freaking annoying I wish he would leave me alone so that kind of put the damper on my opinion on the fandom but anyway pretty cool game and I'm trying to get her to watch it but she doesn't listen to me I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting uh, Where do you get your inspiration for speed paints? Someone that was me here. telling you what to do. Um, awesome. music. That's where I get my inspiration from. Uh, sorry, I don't really know what you mean by recruiting effort. Oh, after last summer. You know, budgets went through the roof, a lookout, and every lookout for the first time in 20 years. Why did last you first summer. start YouTube? What? Come on, why did you're you from first Denver, start Denver, not Delaware. This was why did I first start what? Why did you first Boulder, start YouTube? Boulder. Because I've always hey, wanted to if. know what it would feel, feel like to be a speed painter. And I didn't know I would get this far, but yeah. Oh, you're talking about How that, and um, when did you guys meet each other? Probably when? I don't even remember. I know it was in like first grade. Nah, it was the beginning no, no, of second grade year. And our friend that we call Reginald. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, do you? Um, I do not. Our friend that we call Reginald. Jeez. He introduced the federal government almost like Yellowstone her. National Park burned to the ground. And it's like, ring a bell? That's like a long story. And Honey said it on her other live stream. Yellowstone is like that's on her channel. Like so go check it out. Away. Why would they do that? Are you guys planning to go? Well, to the wrong story is I don't understand what's going on. We are very good at not letting your fires happen. And then, I don't know. Um, going, going around and having to listen to people and like, like music and dancing, it isn't like it doesn't seem appealing. I think I'd rather just cuddle on the couch and watch Netflix. There were reports that the entire park was gone. How did your friends feel when you guys got together? <laughs> yeah, they were like, I knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> um. So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know. People don't want to touch it, but we touch it every single day. Oh. I know. Hey. Who is the most annoying anime character you just want to punch in the face? Fiasco. Sakura? The goddamn park can burn down again. Or, no, there was another person that we hated. Blackstar. Blackstar? No, Blackstar's pretty cool. Uh, I hate him. I'm trying to think of who it was. I don't know. Um, I watched this anime called Claymore. 
I don't, she hasn't watched it. I think it's too gruesome for her that she would like it. But there was like this character named Rocky who would just be like, clear, clear, like shut the f <laughs> You know, it, it, he was just the most annoying person on the planet. Where am I going? What was both of your most awkward moments? Oh, jeez. I can't even. Um, I don't even know. I can't think of it, so I'm just going to move on. All right. Yeah, I can't think of one either. What is your dream wedding? My dream wedding is I've got two dream weddings, either on a beach during a sunset or in the winter while it's lightly snowing, but you can notice the snow. I would think that um, outside at a beach, but during the night when the stars are shining and like you have like lights on the deck. Sounds beautiful. Does my notebook see? <laughs> my notebook see? Uh, who asked who out? Honey asked me out. It was more of like I confessed my feelings and then asked you if you felt the same. Uh, I love Borderlands. Claptrap is so funny. Who's your favorite character to play? Maya. Gage. What is the cutest thing Honey did to you? Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even... I'm so bad at navigating. Why did I decide to play this game? It's all navigating. I hate these questions because it's like she's done so many cute things, but then oh, you know what was cute? What? It was on Valentine's Day. Oh dear. And I was sleeping. Oh dear. Well, sleeping in kind of quotations, and she poured water on me. <laughs> that was really sweet. <laughs> well, your um, your mom and what's his face were trying to wake you up and I told them that I would pour water on you. Did. Yes, indeed I did. That was cute. Very cute. You're you you getting mad and like punching my arm is very cute. <laughs> How did your first kiss go awkward? Very awkward. <laughs> Should never speak of that again. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> Why did you choose the name Honeybee? <laughs> Personal information if I gave that away. Um, what is the weirdest or worst gift you've ever got on your birthday or Christmas? I got someone's hair. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was just a random gift, but uh, yeah, it was on my front porch and it was someone's hair. I know I'm gonna sound like, oh my god, you're being naive and you know, spoiled brat. Or something like that, but my grandparents used to spoil me. Used they, to? They still do. Well, not as much, but like, honestly, I hated it. Like, I know what you're thinking, like, oh my god, I wish I could get spoiled. No. It, it was like so stupid. It won't let me run. Probably because I'm lagging. Oh no, so I am like, running. I really don't have a bad thing I got. Or, well, no, remember this Christmas, my father got me a, like, what was a Barbie spinner or whatever? Barbie spinner? Like, a topper spinner. Like, you mean for, like, hair? No, like, it's, oh my god, I don't know what it is. Whatever. It doesn't he does matter. know you aren't, you don't like Barbie, you aren't obsessed with Barbies anymore like you used to be, right? I was so obsessed with Barbies. I know, you would make me play with you even but though. then we got into the phase of like pregnancies and drug addicts. And then, we and got then yeah, with, and know? then like affairs and <laughs> we were very horrible people to our Barbies. The only reason why I like Barbies now is Sam and Nikki. Yeah, they're Just pretty, they're pretty they're, boss. They're Perry's. Anyway, um. Best thing about the game so far, I have oh the words. <laughs> oh, oh yes, yeah, them swear words. Um, I, I would say the scenery. I'm tr I need to find a way back to my lookout, and like I am very lost. As I said, I'm very bad at coordinating. What was the cutest memory I did to you? Oh dear. I don't do cute things. I fail them really badly. Really. Bad. Um, actually, 
<clears throat> let's see. We were at your house, and we were in a Skype call with someone. That's never a good start. Never ever. And I told, I said, my lip hurts. Or no, I said, like, my tongue hurts because I had a canker sore. I just got braces. They hurt very badly. But anyway, and you said, want me to come um, kiss it better? I'm like, no, come lick it better. And so she actually gets up, <laughs> and she busts into my, quote, room. And then she, like, oh, starts, like... I have a bit of a confession to make. Shut the hell up, Delilah. Um, and so she starts, like, tackling me, like... And I'm, like, trying to get away. <laughs> and, you know... What is it? I was drunk last night when I woke up at a job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. No, like, she chased me all around the house. Her mom got pissed. I got a little pushy, putting you on the spot about why you're out here and stuff. What was it like coming out to your parents? Honestly, my mom was like, I knew it. I'll keep that sort of thing to my mom didn't mind, but I feel like anyway, my dad so was disappointed. Uh, he's a very religious person. I don't think he mind too much because he really liked me. He does like you, and he actually considers you one of his friends. Yeah, which is sad. It kind of is sad, but he's very lonely. But, you know, he, he said he was okay with it, which I, I'm, I'm sure he is. I just don't really think that he wanted this for me. He didn't expect it. What did you guys do for Valentine's Day, which is our anniversary? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. We, I don't know. So you got a llama, and you named it Princess Fluffy Butt. She's next to me right now. You yeah, named it Felicia Sexo Pants. Yep. Borderlands and reference for all you Borderlands fans. We ate chocolate. Mm-hmm. Uh, we screamed. We screamed. And yes. then I got mad at my mom because she told me to come home and babysit. Yeah, which you didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. But then I got in deep, 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 deep trouble because, um... Oh, that's... we got Starbucks. Don't forget that. Oh, yeah, we got Starbucks. We got Starbucks. See, we're white. Subway. Subway. We got Subway, too. We wanted Jimmy John's, but... Mm. Why did we get Jimmy John's? No, we got Jimmy John's on Valentine's Day. We got Subway the day before. We got you. I rarely ever eat out, so whatever, um, like, eat out at a restaurant. So whenever I'm with her, we usually eat out, and I think that's nice. What did you guys get each other for Christmas? What did I get you for Christmas? Uh, you got me a necklace, phone case, and shirt. Oh, yeah, I got you a shirt, necklace, and phone case. Do you like to play PC games? Yes. Yes, I'm playing a PC game ATM. Uh, what's your favorite animal? I've actually thought about this. I don't think it's dog anymore. What is it? No. Okay, I'm gonna have to think about this for a little bit. I wanna say a white tiger. I'm gonna have to say a, cat. a lion or a cougar. If you two were the people in the closet for seven minutes in heaven, would you wait it out or make out or stand there awkwardly? Obviously make out. We would obviously make out and probably stand there awkwardly. Further. We'd probably go a little further. No, we'd, we'd awkwardly make out. <laughs> yeah, it'd be awkward. <laughs> uh, do you think you're going to get together forever as in Mary? Yes. My hand is numb. What do I do? I'm counting on you guys. Hold on, I'm searching this up. Um, light it on fire. My hand is numb. <laughs> what do I do? Don't actually light it on fire. Yeah, don't, please. <laughs> please, I don't want your mom to be like, Honey Bee told me to light my hand on fire. My numb is on hand. What do I do? Um, you. Shake it up. Shake it up. <laughs> You'll be dead, <laughs> You swore! Watch your profanity. Actually, I can't find anything on the internet. That's surprising. So long. Okay, light it on fire. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> I'm sorry, a nerdy girl. I'm so sorry you could. I'm sorry we let you down. I'm so sorry we let you down. What's your guys' favorite kind of music? Acapella. Electro swing or acapella? Mm, okay. Uh, all the comments. Uh. What's your most favorite video game? Borderlands 2. Borderlands 2. <laughs> For both of you. 
what is your favorite YouTube vid or YouTuber? My favorite YouTuber is Eldie Shadow Lady. Eldie Shadow Lady. Favorite YouTube vid is um I I got bored by Cool Dude Three. Oh, yes. My favorite. No, my favorite. Oh, it's a my favorite video from Cool Dude is Yard. <laughs> Oh, actually, that's just my favorite video. Will it not let me climb up this? Oh, no, it will. Uh, it would have to be Elder Shadow Lady or Cooley Dude 3. They are both the best. Is that a cat? Well, that's a raccoon. Wow. What is it doing? Can I pet it? On a scale of one to John Barrowman, how gay are you? No Oh, darling, I'm just simply gay. <laughs> oh, Barbara. Oh, Barbara. What the hell? What do I do when my favorite pears, YouTuber, pears, pears. YouTuber speaks and answers every question I ask? <laughs> oh, anyway, hope you're having a good afternoon. <laughs> Thanks. I don't you know. cry. Was it romantic when you went on your first date? I hope it was because that is super cute. It wasn't romantic. Well, it we didn't really do much. We went to a movie. I read online that going to a movie is usually the best first date because you don't really have to talk to each other. And so, yeah, I went first date. And then with we that. played video games. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so it was excellent. What jobs do you uh, want to be when you grow up? I will, I wanted to be a baker, but now I'm not even sure anymore. Um, animator for the win. I don't even remember anymore, or I don't know anymore what I want. So <laughs> tell me what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> you need to be quiet. I've had to sleep. The dogs are hearing you. Let the dogs hear me. Oh. I'm so sorry, I forgot the dogs knew my language and they were so offended by every word I say, I'm so sorry. Did at least one of you, one of you guys get chocolate on Valentine's Day? We I both did. did. Yeah, we both did, but I gave Honey a Hershey's kiss about as big as an adult's fist. <laughs> That moment when you Pixel junk, I'm glad you're back. I'm glad too. Are there any more questions? Do you guys have any tips for people who want to start a YouTube channel? Be yourself. Be yourself. Don't be fake. Don't be fake. That bothers me. That bothers me too. Just texting me and I don't know who it is. That's me. Honey, when will <laughs> when will you propose to Maris? It better be in the future. Not now or I'll slip your throat. Maris, will you do me the honor of get out of my life? Oh yes, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, um, Uh, LSP cupcakes. You can you can be weird sometimes, especially you, honey. You have no idea how weird I get. No, I you get you really don't. Like weird. you don't know what weird is until you've met Maris. <laughs> your favorite chocolate or your favorite picture? My favorite picture is a picture of Donald Trump saying, get these immigrants out of Miss Wolf. I'm not for Donald Trump, by the way. Um, and my favorite chocolate, coconut covered in chocolate. Yeah. I don't think there's any other way up. 
like I think I done did screwed up. Tell us an awkward story of you, of both of you, both of us together, <coughs> or just awkward story. Okay. Um, I feel like Mr. Cannon would come into this. <laughs> Let's see, we're making out in the janitor's closet. <laughs> joking, I'm joking. Don't take that the heart, plus. AJ and Wolfie, of course I want to be friends. That's not even a question, of course. Myths Draw, you're in Quebec. That is amazing. I always wanted to go there. Really? Yeah, I love... <gasps> Didn't know this about me. Oh, no. It's so beautiful. How did I come up with the design of my OC? My OC? My OC. <laughs> my OC. Honey told me I needed to make an OC. So, I... <laughs> I made one. What was her name? Wasn't it like Sugar Plum or something? Yeah, it was. It was like Sugar Plum. And she was gray and had purple hair. And like it was in this weird hairstyle or whatever. But I remember I didn't like that after a while. And then I kind of just started adding to it. And then I added some just marks. And then I ended up with Maris. And I was just like, she's adorable. I just want to keep her forever. Mm-hmm. So, I think I'm going to stop playing the game now. You think you'll get a good ring for her? If you ever propose, you better. Mm. Uh, yes, I plan stop. on spending all my money for college on you. You guys like anime jokes, I guess. They're pretty baller. Will this be a new frequently thing you start streaming? Uh, actually, I really enjoy streaming. Not too sure about the gaming part because that's a little laggy. The awkward story is as us in, as us together. So <laughs> it's not really awkward, but it's funny. The time I pushed you off my moped. Oh yeah. For the gem you broke. Get the quarter. Oh. Okay. So my older brother he used to do baseball, and um. We were going to go to one of his games. And I remember the store there. There was a store next to it. <laughs> and, um, it's such a coincidence. Such a coincidence, yeah. Uh, they used to sell like these little toy dinosaurs that we were obsessed with. So we'd always try and get at least one of them. And they were a quarter each. And so we went to Reginald's house and see if he had a quarter. And he did. And so we were roller skating our way home. And I tripped, and I, like, fell flat on my face, and I let go of the quarter. And Honey comes up to me, and she's like, oh, my God, are you okay? And the only thing I screamed was, get the quarter. <laughs> get the quarter, get the quarter. <laughs> um, I guess that was really awkward because it was in the middle of, like, a busy road, like, right next to one. <clears throat> um. It's funny because the store that um, we were talking about, uh, my family actually owns the store now. Yeah. Someone asked you a question. What? Uh, it's like Night Miss asked you. Also, before you guys leave, remember to know me as a person who has lots of questions. <laughs> I, will. I will. I will have a place in my heart just for you. Are we leaving? Yeah. I want to answer just a few more questions. All right, all right. Just a, a few more questions, a few more questions. Just a few more questions, okay? A few, a few more questions. What's the best surprise you guys ever had for each other? <laughs> when you came over to my house on Christmas. You like Swoozy too? Yes, I love Swoozy. Ow. <laughs> Honey, would you do a live stream with me? Um. Last time I was in a live stream with someone else, it was very annoying. Like, I loved the stream, it was fun, but they were singing. Yeah, they were singing and playing music, and I was like, oh. No offense, but like, mm. <laughs> How can I get rid of my shyness? I'm afraid of people. I'm afraid that people might hate me for what I like. Well, then, I... you need to stop hanging around those people, sweetheart. 
because if you're afraid that people might hate you for who you are, then you just need to find the right person who loves you for you. And you can't find that person unless you look. I said, that, that sounds kind of rude. I'm sorry. I used to be really shy in school until like this year. And I kind of just said, I don't give a shit what you think about me. And I act like myself now. Which, like I said before, I kicked somebody's chair and dove under a desk. I think I'm pretty entertaining. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to end the live stream here. Thank y'all for watching. And Gamer Girl 101 should ask my girl crush out. Yes, go do for it. it. Do it. Do it. YOLO. Do it. YOLO. But anyway, I'm going to stop it right here. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate you guys being here and actually, you know, supporting me. I love all of you guys, and yeah. Bye.